for days visiting Lolongo and Tsukimao areas to get details about the life of senior sergeant Frederick Leliman proved almost impossible. No one wanted to talk on camera about the man who remained faceless to the rest of the country, apart from Lolongo residents, until he appeared in court on 4th of July 2016. Showing no emotions in court didn't come as a surprise to many who know him. They say he is a cold man. Finally, we met people who had the courage to speak on camera. His record comes out as disturbing and many are terrified even to mention his name. But what kind of terror? Ubaya, ilikuwa ni vile anauwa watu wa vyovu. But kitambo ifiki hapo amekuwa, alikuwa amekupea woni. As in kama mkikutana tena, ukiwa kwa ile kitendo alikupata nayo, atakuwa. On my other side, naiza sema uzuri wake, koza amekuwa watu wengi. In Lolongo, Frederick Leliman typifies the life of one of the greatest crime busters the country ever saw in the 1970s and 1980s. Patrick Shaw, a police reservist who was popularly known as Romeo 9 before he died in 1988, leaving behind legendary stories of mystery for a man who had a unique talent for tracking down and killing criminals. Shaw was an intimidating man standing at six feet tall weighing 136 kilograms. He rarely slept and patrolled the streets of Nairobi day and night, exterminating criminals. He was ruthless and orthodox in executing justice. His tales of heroism and brutality are recounted in a manner that borders on fiction. Frederick Leliman is said to have modelled himself on Patrick Shaw, according to his associates. At least, that's how he started. He's interactive. Um, he's a no-nonsense person. He really wanted security to be there within uh, Siokimao estate. Born in Marigat, Baringo County in 1976, Frederick Ole Leliman, an AP senior sergeant, is nicknamed Askari Masai. No one here dares call him by his real name. He is feared by Mlolongo police officers who don't question him, preferring to call him Senior. No one knows where he lives. He kept his family life secret and never spoke about it. His friends say he's a teetotaler, never sold to drinking alcohol, though he owns a pub in Mlolongo that was nearly burnt down by angry protesters <laughs> who vandalized his business before police came in to stop the protesting Boda Boda riders after the death of one of their own, Josphat Mwenda. <laughs> Before being posted at Siokimao AP camp when it was opened on 14th of February 2015, he was attached to Lunga Lunga police station in Nairobi. Leliman was in charge here but never operated from this small AP post, instead choosing to work from Lolongo police station. Officers who didn't want to speak on camera say he commanded the regular police everywhere he went. He preferred working in plain clothes and loved day and night patrols in his private saloon car or double cabin. Leliman always carried three guns, an AK-47 rifle and two Seska pistols. He was feared at Mlolongo police by other officers who accompanied him on patrols. He used to operate from the office of the OCS. A quiet man, residents say Leliman was a law unto himself. I'm in the Gaba Nation State. As you can have a cause of Roger Duaka, Wakasimamija Gari Kando, Kakuja Kandishika, Manuel Gabut, to go at that. Kakula Pesanga from Girikum. Journalists who interacted with him say he used to call them after killing suspected criminals and often used the phrase, Kujeni ilo hondom napenda, loosely translated, come get the stories you love to cover.
More often than not, he would take close-up photos of dead bodies of his victims on his mobile phone and send them through WhatsApp to whoever cared to hear his stories as he bragged about it. Injuries on his victims were most times to the head and the heart, according to sources close to him. A court official who has handled one of his cases told NTV that magistrates had a problem with Leliman for killing suspects across Mlolongo even after they had surrendered. The source says even court officials felt threatened by him. An enigma of man, residents at Mlolongo describe Frederick Leliman as disturbed and trigger-happy. Dennis Okari, NTV.